mentioned the economy. I've mentioned culture. You've got to go into politics and government deliberately. By the way, if we don't fix some of Nigeria's problems today, that is this INEC problem. I've said plainly, INEC, put me in trouble if you like. It is a fraud. The numbers in Nigeria, as far as census are concerned, and as far as election is concerned, are a lie. And if nobody will speak up about it, the righteous should speak. And our righteousness is not of ourselves. It is of him, and he will protect. Hallelujah. It is important. It is skewed now so that where the numbers are, are not properly reflected in our voting. This is the only country in West Africa where you move from the ocean to the desert and the numbers decrease, or rather, they increase. The only country. It's the only country in the world where you move from a large body of water to little or no water and the numbers increase. It was not Nigerians that started it. It was the parents of Nigeria who were not good parents. They were not good parents. The, the man, Lord Lugard, was a, a devil incarnate. And what he did to this country, we're suffering it many years later. And it's time that we must tell the truth. It's time we must tell the truth. It's absolute. We must. And those of you who benefit from the system, when the judgment comes, unless you extricate yourself in the righteousness of God, that's your own problem. You understand? And if you're in the system, you should behave like Robin Hood. Take from them and give it to the poor. You should have less so that they can have more. I have that sword in my office. The sword of Lord, Lord, the, the, what's his name? Lord of Loxley, Robin Hood. Why? Because part of my job is to make sure that the wealth of Nigeria is redistributed with an evenness. How do you do it? Not by giving the poor rice and oil at election time. Give them an education. And education in today's age does not have to be formal. We have tablets. We can do research and development and create curriculum. <laughs>